Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at the Great Drakensberg Escarpment. Before we begin, just a quick shout out to our friend Michael Blythe at Draken Watches. Mike is a native of South Africa who spent much of his time traversing the wondrous Drakensberg Mountains. These days, Mike resides in Auckland, New Zealand and designs watches. The spirit of adventure is found in Mike's original watch designs. All Draken timepieces are durable and reliable. I know because I have one of Draken's special editions, the Kruger Mecha Quartz. Rest assured that Draken's unique models are hard wearing and this formidable micro brand is here to stay. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. Where are the wondrous Drakensberg Mountains located? Do people reside in these mountains? Why are they called the Dragon Mountains? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at the great escarpment that dominates much of the southern tip of South Africa. As a wine buyer, I was invited twice to South Africa to experience their wines. Unfortunately, my stays in this beautiful country were not long enough for me to venture out to the majestic mountains of the Drakensberg. Let's start with the name. Drakenbergs is Afrikaans and means the Dragon's Mountains. To the Zulu people, it is known as Ukalamba. And in the Soto language, the Moloti, which translates as Barrier of Uppointed Spears. The Great Escarpment stretches for more than 1,000 kilometers, which is roughly 600 miles. It reaches its highest elevation of 3,482 meters, which is 11,424 feet within the border region of South Africa and Lesotho. The high treeless peaks of the Drakensberg is an eco-region of steep slopes and with grasslands and woodlands. These steep slopes are the most southerly high mountains in Africa. Since they are far from the equator, they provide cooler habitats at lower elevations than most mountain ranges on the continent. This then generates high rainfall feeding into many mountain streams and rivers. These also include the sources for the Tugela and the Orange River, which is Southern Africa's longest. These mountains also have the world's highest waterfall, the Tugela Falls. The drop is an astounding 947 meters or 3,107 feet. These rivers are essentially a vital resource for the country of South Africa. Wildlife is abundant in the Drakensberg. An endless array of birds fill these mountains. As a matter of fact, 299 recorded species. The beautiful blue rivers and streams abound with fish and several species of frogs. What other wildlife thrive in the Drakensberg Mountains? The lush fauna also contains 24 species of snakes, two of which are highly venomous. The lower slopes of the Drakensberg also support much wildlife, perhaps and most importantly, the rare southern white wine rhinoceros. It is important to note that this species of rhino was nurtured in the Drakensberg as it was facing extinction. Another animal that found its safe haven in the Drakensberg was the black wildebeest. Sadly, since 2011, this wildebeest only thrives in protected areas and game reserves. Fortunately, due to the lush fauna, the Drakensberg is home to large herds of antelopes, such as the Elan and the reed buck. Chakma baboons are also among the wildlife inhabiting the slopes of the lower Drakensberg. The higher slopes are difficult to reach, keeping these beautiful mountains fairly undamaged and lush with wildlife. However, tourism in the Drakensberg is developing. A variety of hiking trails, hotels, and resorts have sprung up along the slopes. How will this affect the wildlife? Much of the higher parts of the South African range have been designated as game reserves or wilderness areas. What about human habitation? There are numerous caves on the KwaZulu-Natal-Lesotho border. To date, 500 different caves have been recognized. Many of these caves are adorned with paintings by the Sa'an people. These bushmen are the indigenous hunter-gatherer cultures of southern Africa. In fact, Sa'an are the oldest surviving culture of the region. What do you think? Are the Drakensberg Mountains now on your bucket list? Who knows, you just might run into Michael Blythe trekking the slopes of these majestic mountains. This brings us to the end of the Great Drakensberg Escarpment. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. Please like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales and don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.